SAS interview question and answer question number 55 what are the commonly used SAS macro functions this question is asking about what are the commonly used SAS macro functions in SAS macro language most commonly used SAS macro functions are as follow percent eval percent sys eval percent index percent length percent sub str percent up case percent low case percent scan percent sysfunc percent str percent nr str percent code percent nr code percent on code in this video first seven sas macro functions are going to be explained and the remaining seven functions will be explained in next video first one is percent eval it evaluates arithmetic and logical expressions using integer value that means suppose we have two macro variable x and y and its value is 7 and 8 respectively and we are going to create another macro variable z by using percent eval function percent eval Inside the parenthesis, we use ampersand x plus ampersand y, where ampersand x is 7, ampersand y is 8. 7 plus 8 with eval function, that means with percent eval function, it evaluates arithmetic and logical expression. Then it becomes here 7 plus 8 becomes 15. But without percent eval function the result becomes inside the parenthesis 7 plus 8 because the 7 and 8 these values are string values number 2 percent sys eval function it evaluates arithmetic and logical expression using decimal values it is also called floating point values. Suppose we have two macro variable L and M, where value of L is 7.2 and M is 3.25. And we are going to create another new variable N by using percent sys eval function. And inside the parenthesis, we use M percent L minus M percent M. That means M percent L is 7.2 minus M percent M, its value is 3.25. With the help of percent sys eval function, result becomes 3.95. But without percent sys eval function, value of N becomes inside the parenthesis 7.2 minus 3.25. Number three, percent index. It returns the position of the first character of a string. That means, suppose we have a macro variable A and its value is SAS macro function. And we are going to create another variable B by using percent index. That means we are trying to get the position of character C percent index m percent a comma c in this example we are going to identify the position of first occurrence of character c in this macro variable value and we are going to print that value in our log window that's why percent put C position 8 M percent B. When we run this code, then we will get value of this B equals to 7. That means 7th position that indicates the character C. Let me check that one. First position, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. This is the 
first character C and its position is seventh position. Number four, percent length. It returns the length of the string. Suppose we have a macro variable x and its value is Maryland and we are going to print the value of length in our log window. That's why percent put the length of m percent x is percent length inside the parenthesis m percent x where m percent x is Maryland and its length it evaluates the length and its length is 8 it will display 8 that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 fifth one is percent sub str it will extract sub component of a string variable that means it will extract sub part of a string variable suppose we have a same macro variable x and value is maryland and we are going to create another macro variable y by using sub str function percent sub str inside the parenthesis we use m percent x and we use here 5 comma 4 this 5 represents the fifth position which starts with the fifth position and it holds only four characters and we are going to print that value in our log window that's why it will display land l a n d let me check here one two three four five it starts with the fifth position that means from l and it takes four character l a n d that is the result number six percent of case it converts resolve macro string value to upper case we have taken same example here macro variable x and its value is maryland and we are going to change this maryland value to upper case that means another variable is y by using percent of case and percent x and we are going to print that value in our log window and final result becomes maryland but all character appears uppercase and seventh one is lowercase or simply percent low case it converts resolve macro string value to lowercase here we have same example and finally we get the value in our log window but all character becomes lowercase if we use same sas macro function with example and run with a sas window we will get the exactly same result this is the first one by using person eval function variable x and y value 7 and 8 when we run this code first code it becomes here 15 and without percent eval function what will happen let me check that one without percent eval function its value is inside the parenthesis 7 plus 8 second one the use of percent sys eval function first one is l second one is m l value is 7.2 m value is 3.25 and this is the we are going to create another macro variable n let me run this one and it value becomes here 3.95 that means l minus m becomes 3.95 and without eval function let me check here let me check without eval function what happens its value becomes here 7.2 minus 3.25 
that means here I'm going to remove this and percent as well sorry percent as well it becomes here 7.2 minus 3.25 similarly next one is index it gives the position of the C character first C character its value is 7 that's correct because here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this the length one is here it should display the length of this Maryland its value is 8 that's correct and next one is here sub str length that means it starts with fifth position it takes only four character the final value becomes length that's right and uppercase converts into uppercase yes Maryland converted to the uppercase and last one is lowercase yes every letter that converted into lowercase in this way we can use SAS macro function in SAS macro language that's all about question number 55 thank you